population of India is soaring to an all-time high and our economy is among the fastest growing in the world. With the grim news, number of women in workforce is on a downward graph. Despite being so populated, the number of working Indian women was already in the 20 lowest countries in the world. But now it seems to be shrinking further. This is a problem for women and the country as a whole. If women are left behind, India could face major challenges to its economic ambitions. While hope prevails that India's fast-growing working-age population will boost its growth in the years to come, there is no certainty. Experts worry it could just be a demographic liability if the rising population, especially women, are not employed. In 2004, women's employment rate peaked at 35%, but by 2022, the rate fell to 25%. The CMIE noted that only 10% of working-age Indian women were either employed or looking for jobs in 2022. One of the main reasons for the gap can be attributed to the national job crisis. However, it is a deep-rooted cultural belief that women are primary homemakers and caregivers that plays a significant role. One such example is Sheila Singh, a social worker for 16 years in Mumbai. She turned in her resignation in 2020 to take care of her two children. I don't see children, I don't see children. Then I decided that there is no value to do it. What is the benefit of doing it? I would go to the morning and listen to the children. Then I decided that whatever will happen, I would leave it. On the other hand, Sunita Sitar is an example of success. Sunita became the first person in her village to earn an engineering degree. Girls are inferior to the girls. They are only in the house to work at home. तो मुझे इन सब में पढ़ना नहीं था इसलिए मैंने सोचा कि अभी पढ़ लोगी तभी कुछ तो होने वाला है नहीं तो इनके जैसा ही हालत होगा कि गांव में शादी करा दी जाएगी खेतों में काम पर करना पड़ेगा। Over the last decade, women have gained better access to education. They are now nearly at par with men. Despite being highly educated and talented, most women do not have jobs either due to the high rate of unemployment or due to social pressures. If India finds a way to bridge this gap, experts believe it could be a huge opportunity for the country. If not, the economy will move downhill. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.